What are we doing with our lives? I don't know what it is, but we are making our own cocoa bomb kits. So, yeah, I don't know if this is a weapon or you can just blow up a country with chocolate. No, that's not how that works. So, we got uh, whatever's in that bag. We got chocolate. Of course. Marshmallows. We got a mold. silicon mold. And we got sprinkles. That's candy cane. Chips. Peppermint crunch. That's candy cane. Chips. This is the hot cocoa mix here. So, and that's melting wafers. Meltable wafers, chocolates, and peppermints. So, so we need to. Obviously, this is going to take some prep. Yeah. So basically, that's going to be the cocoa bomb. We got some little warm milk here which we're probably going to have to make you know warmer later yeah because it takes because time. all hot cocoa should be made with milk not water yes especially with this type of thing because the chocolate situation not like so, if it were purely powder i could argue that water works but all right so the first thing we're doing is place the melting wafers and vegetable oil in a microwave safe bowl and heat on high power for 15 second intervals, stirring after each until There's melted and smooth. One teaspoon? I'm gonna use butter. Use the vegetable oil. Follow the instructions. Right. This has done this to a certain extent. And butter, vegetable oil. All right, so we are going to melt this chocolate off camera and we will be back when it's melted. Okay, the chocolate's melted. We used butter instead of the vegetable oil because that generally has worked better in the past on these types of projects. So spoon a little- Also, it tastes better. I mean butter. Spoon a little of the melted wafers into each well and use the back of the spoon to spread a thin layer over the entire well. Make sure the mixture reaches the top of the mold so it will be easy to join the two halves later on. It's also stupid hard to join the two halves as a person who's done this. The chocolate tax. You heard of the cheese tax. Now get ready for. Be part of the milkshake tax. Now get ready for. The chocolate tax. But milkshake is also a cat. It, the chocolate tastes like weird. And it's milk chocolate, I believe. It, it is was, milk. yeah. It's milk. It's just with the butter, now it tastes like that crab chocolate that you get. I'm curious about how these are going to. They work pretty well. I've done a couple bombs before. Also, you probably wanted to do it in batches. Well, this is one batch here. Well, it didn't say how many wafers to put in. It did not. So I assume. It just said. It just said make sure the mixture reaches the top of the mold. So you know that's. Yeah, it doesn't say how many. Melting wafers. So we're just pretty much, other than substituting the butter for the vegetable oil, we're doing it exactly like. Yeah, I assumed it meant all the wafers. And they didn't say that it didn't, so. It says that there should they should make. Six bombs, so twelve of these. So there should be enough to fill this up twice. According so to them. Are we supposed to cut it in half? No. I don't know. Fill that one up, and let's fill we'll see what, see what happens. Mm -hmm. And right now I have the Brave Little Toaster soundtrack in my head because we just watched that before doing this recording. So, worthless! 
<laughs> you're a nerd. And you know all of the appliances with their big smiles, and all of the other like really creepy scenes. That... Yeah, there were more than I remembered there even being. I'd be freaked out if I was the toaster too. By the way, this is in the mix brand. Are you gonna have nightmares because of the 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 the, the, the AC unit? Heater thing. The angry air conditioner. The angry air conditioner heater thing. Don't lick the spoon, it's unhygienic. It do as I say, not unless, as I do. It doesn't matter unless you're like a company doing this. I think you're supposed to wait for the chocolate to cool. What's the next instruction? Okay, so it says place. So the question is, what do we do with this? We make more. We have to. Well, I think them. we have to go cool these and then we're going to make more but which put these put these space. in here and then we're going to join them together so those go in the refrigerator for five minutes and then we take them out of that thing and then fill these back up so he's saying you're gonna reheat the chocolate which is gonna make it so it's weird so we're going to go cool this off and probably fill these up one more time off camera and then we will be back when we're doing something new that's not coating the inside of this Tray. So we okay, so I just wanted to, we're, we're peeling the cold molds out here. Look at how shiny they are. It's because the, it's the same thing with resin. If you put resin in those, the, it'd be shiny. If the, the mold what? itself was matte, the chocolate would be matte. If the um, mold had like, it's just like, it's like a high it's really weird. It's so hard, so fast. No. Don't go there. That's chocolate flour. Mine's out of the gutter. You now just put all of your heaters, mine's in the gutter. It's all your fault. Okay, so now we're gonna do that one more time and we'll be back. Hello, we're back. The other halves are in the fridge cooling for five minutes. So we are going to do the next step, which is to put some hot cocoa in each of these, along with some peppermint crunch, some marshmallows, and then by then the others should be cool. And yeah. Why are we letting that open? I feel like this is. Woo! Look at the dust in the air. Where's Mycroft at? I feel like this is a mistake. What do you mean this is a mistake? Right, you don't know how to open things. They get open, don't they? Not well. Your biz scissors are on the counter. You only put it in half. Remember that. No, I'm just kind of like putting a little in there. Don't put it in all of them. No, but the others, we're making six and then like the ones that are in the fridge, we're going to pop them with. Oops. Oops. That is a really pepperminty freaking thing here. Yeah. Sarah would eat that up. I feel like I need to put a little more in that one. I feel like this one, the one with all of the peppermints ever, isn't going to get much marshmallow. This is just going to be the crazy one. We're going to put some more. No! <laughs> There's still a lot of cocoa mix here. But you know what? They're supposed to be bombs. They're gonna explode, so. They don't actually. We're gonna take over the world with one of these. I still have like a giant amount of marshmallows that don't fit. <laughs> we'll put one on like top of them too, just even though I don't know if that makes sense. But did you say some peppermint for the top? No. That is something they did. That's because it's all in this one. <laughs> yeah, I spelled it. Oops. Well, so well. There'll be plenty of peppermint in there. Plenty of cocoa. I'm just, you know, we're, we're going crazy That's with it. That's insane. These are, these are going to be very sugary. Isn't that the point? Yeesh. Worthless. <laughs> Stop calling the viewer worthless. Worthless! <laughs> I'm 
want. My channel, I'll say what I want. Mm -hmm. You do have to be careful because copyright exists, though. Yeah, I don't think that anybody's going to mistake my singing for uh, the guys that actually sang that song. That's not how, that's not how copyright works. <laughs> like, at all. You can sing Firework and still get copyright struck. Tauntaun sang Firework. There's a few things you can, you can sing and not get copyright struck, and there's a few things that you... It's stupid. I'm not monetized anyway, so I really couldn't care less, so <laughs> here we are. Well, that's this half done. Uh, I'm gonna... Alright, we're... We got another... A trick. You got a trick? Yeah, a bit of a trick. Alright, so let's, let's do the trick. Let's not do... now, but... But the trick! You'll see. Now for my next trick. We'll be back. Oh. Peering into my crystal ball of chocolate in the future. It's so shiny and kind of mesmerizing. All right, what do we got? You, I you have warm that a up. hot plate here. But I don't even I know if you can see it. Right somewhere, uh, probably on TikTok. Uh, and no, you know how to bond the chocolate, we have to sort of melt it yeah. a little bit. Look at it, it's working. Yeah, that's how he works. And then you can grab your other piece of chocolate and then melt it together. What a great hack. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it for very long either. Mm -hmm. It's not perfect, but it's going to be wackadoo. What it doesn't. Well, and it'll start sealing together there too. Oh, bad. Oh. Yeah. And you can always use a little bit oh, of hey. extra chocolate. The marshmallow is getting in the way. <laughs> I see that. There we go. Mine is far from perfect. but We're not getting style points on this. We're just kind of messing around. Oh, you're doing the nuclear one. I don't think so. I don't know. I can't tell. Honestly, they're all the same in my brain. I mean, we really just kind of loaded them all up as much as possible which isn't that the idea like i said of making your own at least yeah it's always the idea yeah this did not melt together like i think i'll reject your reality and substitute my own i mean once you put them in like the cup of milk then it's not gonna matter that much anyway Reject your reality. I want to give this one a mom, though. All right, well, then that one you want to seal up really good, though. Have her have to deal with the fact that I broke it in, like, half ten times. Yeah. Also, future mom, you didn't hear the fact that I broke it, like, seven times. <laughs> she would be disappointed if we didn't. I think mom, considering the fact that she has raised us, has probably had her fair share of broken slash disgusting slash whatever food. Awful. Terrible. Awful. So nasty. Yeah, that's awful. Especially when we did the like competitions for making food stuff. We made some really good stuff then. And sometimes it wasn't good stuff, but what? I feel like there was more good things than the bad, though. We also think you overloaded these with chocolate powder, by the way. Oh, yeah. I definitely did. Um, but you know what? Chocolate powder. If Matt, like, dies, um... Worth it! <laughs> no, <laughs> worthless! Okay. Alright, so we're getting close to the point where we can just pop these into our milk here. Yeah, we'll have to warm up our milk first, so it might be another break, though. There we go. What do you think, Matt? What do you think of Mom's perfect? Perfect! It looks like a cake pop. A little bit. Well, theoretically, you could make use these to make cake pops. <coughs> okay. Kind of the same, Mom's. same concept. Look how perfect it is. This is this, this, this sealed. We'll put that right oh, there. No. Oh, wow. Okay. Do it because I don't know. I can't get these paper 
Oh, great burger. All right. 20 more seconds there. Work, 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 work. Got a little spoony there. That'll accomplish what we want to accomplish. Now I don't know which one is the nuclear. It's mom's. Mom's is the nuclear one, I think. The one of us that likes the sweetest things the least. Oh, yeah. Almost. That seems accurate. We used up all of the chocolate there. Yeah, sadly not enough left for decorational purposes, but... I think you can put it in the cupboard. Like well, we want to use the materials given to show the product. This includes everything you need. It, didn't say it that. mostly did, other than butter and in the milk that we're using. The... This one is Chaos Incarnate. I can tell who made this one. And I guess it, I should have poured the milk over this, so. Yes. Hold on, let me get another mug. <laughs> They didn't give us the mug. No, you're we just... supposed to drop them into. It said pour. It said pour it over that thing. That was the. Then direction. I might know the this one differently. Didn't give us the mug. All right, Here, Matt, watch, watch, watch. Future Matt, I apologize for watching us microwave everything. All right, here we go. I'm pouring it in. Okay. I'm getting it all over the tablecloth. Well, you know what? <laughs> Dude, what the hell? There's like little grooves on this mug. Because I am pouring it like directly over. Okay. okay. Oh, look at the marshmallows are coming out. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look what's happening. You want to spoon the stir? No, right. he's just gonna. I use that spoon. Mine has too, but I think that's kind of the idea. Oh, but mine wasn't supposed to explode yet. I'm gonna wait. No. So I'm just kind of stirring. I can see the marshmallows. They're still like big pieces of chocolate, but they're kind of melting into it there. So. Impatient. The whitest looking white head hot cocoa I think I've ever seen. White as in pale. Even with all of this is not the nuclear one. I like all the marshmallows that we put in that one. I think mom's is the nuclear one, but I'm not positive. Could not tell you which one is which. Sounds like you're making popcorn in the microwave there. Oh, There's the peppermint. Oh, that spilled nice. it all over the place. That means I have to clean up the microwave. Yay. Sorry. This isn't really warm enough yet. We we'll probably should have just. We we'll probably should have just made a pan on the stove like we usually do. All right, here's the drop method. Let me use hopefully this. this. This doesn't displace too much. It looks like you got like the exact amount. Yeah, I could not have planned that more perfectly. Yeah, this is not warm enough. Ugh. Nasty. But the cocoa bomb itself was successful. I enjoy all of the elements that were in here. We need to nuke the milk for these last ones. <laughs> I'm going to put made mine too thick. That might be the problem. 
Or the milk's not hot enough. Can I tell if it's not actually melting? Uh, uh, uh. Also, yes, I am. There it goes. Well, anyway. This is what we're doing with our life. Hot Chocolate. cocoa bombs. Pretty damn good. Till next time. Like and subscribe and bye bye. Yeah, all that too.